for y'all that don't understand, this is basically a TikToker. He give the best advice on the planet, you know. He basically teaches how to f they moms. He teaches how to backdoor they man. So we gotta check out bro advice. I feel like as a black man, he really could help us. So we gotta really just see what's up with bro right now. My Twitch platform, Max, link in the description. How did LeBron James a Hey y'all, the LeBron James is a sex move. And you're gonna need four items. You're gonna need a chair, a headband, no. some baby powder, and a with a strong neck. So you're gonna have your strong neck sit in the chair. She gonna tilt her head all the way back. Her mouth need I'm sorry, who ran? I, yo, I'm not even trolling. If Nora ran this poll, he's, his mod is gone. Yo, LCS, I'm not gonna lie. Unless you show me what you look like, your mod is gone as well. And I'm gonna get your channel taken down. You are gonna take 20 to 25 steps back and go ahead and put your headband on. You can be playing some theme music in the background, by the way. But after you got your headband on, I want you to grab the baby powder, put it in one of your hands, clap your hands together, throw that shit in the sky like brun brun. Then I want you to run towards this bitch. When you get close, <laughs> I want you to leap in the air. When you jump up in the air, pull your dick up and spread your legs so only your balls hanging down. And I want you to try to dunk your balls in this bitch. Come up with these scenarios. Yo, this nigga is fried, bro. Mouth, no teeth, no lips. Yo, listen to the background music, bro. where he find his default tunes? And I don't understand why this nigga gets these ideas in his head at all. Hanging down. And I want you to try to dunk your balls in this bitch mouth. No teeth, no lips, just Yo, y'all think I should now try to get land, him on stream? Yo, he got an IG, send me his IG. I try, like and Just like Brun Brun, don't look back, don't touch the Take your challenge to South Beach. Games, games. Bro, this has hooded tank tops on. I don't think y'all understand. Like, if you just look at bro aesthetic, I would never take advice from a nigga like this. But then you hear what he's saying, he low-key saying some real shit. How to put a bitch in the alligator house. Y'all, this right here is a sex move. So as always, get what you consider consent. So it go like this. Make sure that everything seems normal right up until the time you're about to come. It might be best if you're hitting it from the back. Regardless, right before you bust that the bitch. You're gonna have to bite her in the back of her neck. Keep your teeth lodged into her shit. Now, she might start frailing around or wiggling. It's fine. It's all part of the process. <laughs> what you're gonna do is... Bro, have y'all think niggas actually tried this shit? They've had to, bro. Y'all think niggas have actually tried this shit? Because, bro. You're gonna grab her arms with your arms, lock them up. Grab her legs with your legs, lock them up. Next, is where all the fun begins. You are gonna initiate a death roll, just like an alligator do. Keep your lodged inside of the whole time. If you're on the bed, you can just- He do look like Goss, a little bit. Yeah, no, this is scary. I can't take advice from this nigga. Just roll back and forth. If you're on the floor, you can roll anywhere. You can roll down the- The nigga has a whistle around his neck. Is that a whistle? Yo, bro. Goddamn hallway. But keep rolling around until self-satisfaction is complete. All right? No. Game Nigga, self-satisfaction, what about her neck? Nigga, she got them deep ass bite marks. Now what? Now you're going to prison. You got your nut off, but at what cost? 40 years? Come on, bro. This is why. How to stop jacking your dick. Hey, look, y'all. The two main reasons why you jack your dick is because of boredom and access. You might just be hanging around the house and you'll bump into the kitchen table, or you could be sitting on the couch watching TV and you'll scratch your nuts. Both of those can cause your dick to get hard. And so you'll look down and you'll be like, well, since we're here now, Stop thinking like that. Leave. <laughs> now that's true though. That's true. That's true. Come on, bro. You look down and be like, since you're here now. That's some, yo, this nigga is a real ass nigga, bro. Like, who uncle is this? Yo, cherish this nigga, bro. If he was at my cookout, I mean, I'll rip that fucking snapback off his head because that's terrible. Bro, how your snapback so wide? <laughs> bro, this nigga got the widest snapback I ever seen. But, bro, this a good ass uncle. He'll give you good advice. And when it comes to access on these social media sites, y'all ain't following nothing but badass. We got Hurley Every time on. you log into Instagram or something, you'll see a bitch doing some jumping jacks or twerking, and you get hard, and you'll think, well, I might as well go to the hub and finish it out. Unfollow these bitches. Change your mindset. Black Friday about to come up, y'all, and everybody else is getting all the good advertisements on the electronics, the TVs, and shit. You getting advertisements on dick pills. Google knows you. Next time you feel like you need to jack- Oh, I ain't never get no dick pill advertisement, bro. No cap. I ain't never get that, bro. I want you to grab the head of your dick and the base of your dick. What? You. Next time you feel like you need to jack your dick, I want you to grab the head of your dick and the base of your dick. Twist one hand to the right, one hand to the left. <laughs>
<laughs> no, nah, bro, what happened? We got the cookout. So what is he talking about? Back bro? and forth till you learn your lesson. Game is game. Game is not game, I guess. Man. Hell no. He wildin'. Not a Spider-Man a bitch. Hey y'all, the Spider-Man is a sex move. So as always, assume that you have consent. So it go like this. Assume About 30 days, you yeah. can't fuck nobody. Yo, assume. Yo, I know where this is gonna go. The nigga said don't fuck no one 30 days. Yo. This nigga said assume you have consent. Please, nobody. Anyone watching this, viewer discretion, please. The nigga's an idiot. Please do not take this nigga advice. He hilarious, but he's an idiot. Any nigga that wear a black chain religiously, please do not trust him. So it go like this. For about 30 days, you can't fuck nobody. You can't jack your dick. That's going to be the amount of time you need to build up the power that's necessary. During that time, I need you to work out, eat a lot of fruits, and stay hydrated. That's going to make your nut indestructible. <laughs> now, when it's time for you to fuck somebody, I want you to fuck them like you normally would. But... Right before you finish, I want you to pull your dick out and I want you to nut in the palm of your hand. Try to keep it all in the center. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> this nigga. Then, just like Spider Man, I want you to point your fingers towards him, palm towards the sky, and I want you to pull your middle finger up and your ring finger up. And I want you to slam it down in the palm of your hand. If you apply enough pressure, it should make the nut shoot out and stick <laughs> to the other person <laughs> while the other end is still attached to your hand. Then I want you to slowly but surely pull that person to you closer and closer until they respect you. Hey, we Peter Parker bitches. We ain't playing. Game's game. That's not game, bro. Can you tell me like what the reaction's gonna be after like you do this? He never explained his story times. He just explained tutorials. Bro, do straight how to's, but never no story times. Can we hear some aftermath? I know bro got at least five pending court cases. I feel like this nigga is really troubled in life. Nigga said, I'm gonna have to try this, yo. How to get your ass ate like your daddy did. Yo. Look, man, I know all the young dudes out there gonna hear me talk about getting your ass ate and they gonna think, ew, Undone that shit nasty, all that stuff. Man, judge. shut the fuck up. Cause it's the cold hard truth. If you keeping your hygiene up good enough and you fucking enough bitches, eventually one of them gonna eat your ass, bruh. Don't believe me? Go ask your daddy, go ask your uncles. I'm just trying to prepare you for when that time come. Cause you ain't gonna see it coming. All right, how old is this nigga? Anyone know how old he is? Could be a drunk night. Maybe your girl probably going out to college and she want to do something special for you in your butt. Well, look, just know that when she lift up your balls and start going to town on your shit, she gonna- Hold up. First of all, uncle, please pause. Second of all, bro, he not that old, 36. Nah, yeah, this nigga done experienced some life. And this what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, I know this nigga done took before. He definitely got up his ass or something or tried to suck d or got a nigga to suck his Cause there's no way he has all these experience and ain't try out test out niggas, bro. I'm telling y'all, telling y'all. Start to get really weird, the truth, bro. really fast. If you want her to stop, just know that it's your body, your choice. Tell the bitch to stop. If you want her to keep going, that's on you. When it come to that finger play and shit, women to take advantage of you, dog. Tell her to stop if you don't want that shit. I just don't want some woman being four knuckles deep into you, and all of a sudden you can't walk no more. He ain't say game is game after that. Well, repeat that. You you see that? Did I you repeat that? A bad bitch. Cause he wouldn't do now, it. When I say a bad bitch, I'm talking about a woman that's got it all. Face, titties, ass, you name it. These women right here. Okay, we need this advice the for her. of attention. So validation is gonna be key. And I know that a lot of guys think you shouldn't validate women. That's bullshit. Especially with these fine ass women. It's just that they like to be validated on shit that we don't give a fuck about. Mm. Shit like their intelligence. How charismatic See, he's are. spitting this, this. Yo, he's spitting right now. Bro. How funny they are. Strike up a conversation with these women and um, get to know her. Dog, the bitch can be dumb as a bag of rocks. And she might draw stick figures all day long. Tell her how creative she is. It'll help <laughs> you stick out from the other guy. Now, bro. At the same time, don't ignore her beauty. Because she know that that's what works for her. It's just that women who are fine as fucking though. I'm talking really fine women. They always scared that their beauty is just slowly but surely dripping away. So they want to feel like they have other qualities to fall back on, even though they probably don't. Go make a dumb bitch feel smart. Game is game. What to send when your text message get cold? Guys, the reason why your text message go cold is because you wasn't interested or you wasn't progressing towards Max, something. Max, come for me. But no, no, no. Bro, and you spelled it, bro. Fuck it. We got to get past that, right? Now you need to revive the conversation. So let's say you only talked to a woman for a couple of oh, days. Oh, he blinking. He blinking. A week or so. He blinking. Um, do you remember where she was from? If you do, ask her. No, he finally changed his shirt. No, bro, this nigga has sleeve. No, this is crazy. Some shit like this is evolution. Um, do you want to talk now, or are you still on some Texas shit? Yo, peep the nigga emojis. This is not Android. Hold on, what company is this? 
What the f is this? This is an Android? This Android? Samsung? Nah, bro. His shit different. What this do is, it show that you still interested. It show that you listen to her when y'all did talk. And it kind of give off this take it or leave it vibe where you really don't give a f whether the bitch talk to you I wonder what bro forehead and look like. re -spark the conversation. His shit gotta be crucial. If you don't remember where the fuck she lived, try this random one. Say, you wouldn't believe the dream I had about you last night. And don't text the bitch back until she interested in what the fuck you got to say. She might ask what the dream was about. Tell her, I had a dream that me and you actually hit it off. But as soon as you bent over and we was about to have sex, a condom fell out your butt. She What the f A condom fell out your butt. She gonna laugh and take it from- I'ma try this. How to make some jewelry with your dick. Guys, since the beginning of time, women have always been impressed by jewelry. And dick jewelry ain't no different. So I'ma tell you today how to do two dick tricks that's gonna impress your old lady right out the back. Number one is the cock watch. You need to be half hard, half soft. You throw your dick on your wrist, and you wrap that shit around, and you hold it. You can either hold it with the same hand that you wrapped it around with, or you can hold it with the other hand. Regardless, you walk up to your woman, and you tell her, you know what time it is, right? Trust me. She gonna know. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it, y'all. The Spider-Man technique is life-changing for real. <laughs> Bro, this nigga is a last man. How you stretching your dick all the way from here, all the way to your wrist, to wrap it around? Unless you holding your hand right by your dick. And even then, how you wrapping that around? This nigga got a 12-inch meat. How to sneak out the house. Look, sometimes when you're living with somebody, you might want to sneak out. For what reason? I really don't give a fuck. I'm just here to tell you how to do it. That's real. So, that's real, though. First things first, if they got a ring doorbell, it can complicate things. And in that case, you might want to use a window. And in that case, you might want to pre-plan your sneak out. Okay, this could be good advice. Let's see. This could be good advice. You do this by go ahead and removing the window screen earlier that day and finding out where your floorboard creaks earlier that day. It'll save you from making a lot of noise at nighttime and for you to make your move. Now, the second method is if you're laying with your woman or something and you want to sneak out, well, you got to wait for her to go to sleep and wait for the deep sleep. Wait till you hear that heavy breathing and snoring, okay. and then I need you to turn on rain sounds or okay. white noise. Oh, it's nah. night-night, bitch. She ain't getting up for hours. Oh, and nah. it's going to match the noise that you make <laughs> when you're leaving the house. <laughs> now, this last method... It's for nah, you cooking. Hold people up. who stay with their parents and whatever. Okay, I um, need this one. Go downstairs in the middle of the night, okay. almost every night, and get you a snack or a drink. They'll oh. check up on you at first, but after a while, they'll stop, and then you strike. Mm, then you strike. Nigga, what you mean strike? Bro, why does nigga take everything like a game plan, like it's a war plan? What you mean strike? Nigga, I'm trying to get out the house, not hit my dad. I'm not trying to smack that nigga bald head. Bro, this nigga is tripping. How to turn a bitch into an angry dragon. Y'all, the angry dragon is a sex move. Yeah. No tools required. Just permission. So you either need to be getting head or fucking for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you think you're going to bust quick and you don't think you can last that long, have them edge you on. If you don't know what edging is, that's basically have them tease you until you're about to come and then have them stop and repeat the process over and over for about a half an hour. The reason why you need it to last that long is because you're going to need a nice amount of man muster for this one, fellas. So when you bust, you need to bust in their mouth. After you bust in their mouth, it's one of two things you can do. <laughs> one is you can pull your dick out and then slap them in the back of their head. If you don't want to do that, then after you bust in their mouth, you just need to jam your shit down their throat. In either scenario, you're going to create a gag reflex. And it's going to make your nut come out of their nostrils. Both of them. And it's supposed to be the smoke that comes from a fire-breathing dragon. All right? We Charizard and bitches. <laughs> Yo, <Yeah>, man. <laughs> nah, but it ain't got me, but it ain't got me. Nigga, Charizard is so nutty, bro. Got a steam engine, a bitch. Y'all, a steam engine is a sex move. It requires five things. You're going to get a four-door sedan, something to smoke. Bro, where am I going to get a four-door sedan from, uncle? It's move. It requires five things. You're going to get a four-door sedan, something to smoke, a bitch, some duct tape, and permission. That might be the most important. This is the craziest list of ingredients I've ever heard in my life. How was this nigga on the platform for this long? Now, how you do this is that you get whoever you're going to fuck in the back seat, and I need you to fuck them doggy style. Make sure that their head is facing the window, okay? Now, at this point, I need all the windows in the car to be up because you want the inside of the car to get hot as fuck. So fuck them hard. All right? Now, 
when the inside of the car get unbearably hot, I need you to roll down that back window. That's the one where their head is facing. They immediately should stick their head out of the window to get a breath of fresh air. And you immediately need to roll the window back up around their neck. Bro wildin', bro wildin', he's wildin'. Not enough to ch them, just to the point where they can't stick their head back in the car. <laughs> then you pull your dick out, you walk around the side of the car where their head is sticking out, light up something to smoke, stick it in their mouth, duct tape it around their mouth. Get back in the car and continue f***ing them. Every time you hit it from the back, they gonna blow smoke out their nose. Choo-choo, bitch. <laughs> there is no way this vid ended like that, bro. How to rate bitches. With a T, not a P. Bro. The fact you got to specify that is really hurting my heart. How to rate bitches with a T, not a P. So on a scale from one to 10, here we go. So she get one point for her game. If she know how to hide her masculinity and the fact that she is or used to be a hoe, it helps. She get two points for being fit. Is this Nick, bro, is this nigga giving us an intense rating scale? He's taking it point by point. Bony women look hungry. Big women look hungry. We like healthy, <laughs> not hungry. She get another <laughs> point for a fat ass. A real one. Bro, though. that's facts though. They both look hungry. That's true. Yo, this nigga's talking. Ain't nobody trying to fuck a woman who done had some leftover elbows thrown in her butt. And she get another point for some big old titties. Now the face and the hair is worth five points. If she got an ugly ass smile or some fucked up teeth, she lose a point. If she got a big ass nose like me, she lose a point. If she got lashes, she lose a point. If she got some bumpy ass skin or some crusty shit on her skin, she lose a point. If she got fake hair, she lose a point. If it ain't hers, it ain't her. Game is game. How to rate yourself according to bitches. Guys on a scale from one to 10, here we go. If you're over six feet tall, go ahead and give yourself a point and fuck you. For the rest of us, we got nine more points left. Okay. You get another point if you in shape. Okay. Guys, if you ever took your shirt off around a bitch and you heard her go, whew, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, get in the gym and get that shit popped. All right, I got one. You get another point for your face. I got two, actually. We can't change the way we look. Three. But fortunately, it's only one point as a man. Three. You get another point for your game. Four. You need to have the ability to communicate with other people while also hiding your red flags. Four. You get another point for your dick game. <laughs> this comes down to size and how you deploy it. You need a minimum of... Y'all can say... Bro, y'all can say, Cap, you see me with Riley, bro. I'm at five right now. Six inches with the ability to make it feel like seven. Mm -hmm. And you get five points for your income. Because if you ain't got none of that other shit, your ass better have some money. Ten, 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 I had ten. I had a Steph Curry, a bitch. <laughs> Bro, the way he said he just top five, bro, this nigga is hilarious. Bro, the way he just intro this hoe is hilarious, bro. How to Steph Curry a bitch. No. Guys, the Steph Curry is a level three sex move. So you can be flexible with consent. Now, all you need is a shower, a mouthpiece, and a bitch with a bowel movement. So I want you to turn the lights off in the bathroom and hide. A shower, a, a mouthpiece, and a bitch with a what? Movement. A mouthpiece and a bitch with a bowel movement. What is a bowel movement? So I want you to turn the lights off in the bathroom and hide in the shower. Start jacking your dick while chewing on your mouthpiece. And then when your bitch come in the bathroom and she sit on the toilet, <laughs> I want you to- Bro, how could you out the same beat your meat and chew your mouthpiece? Like, I'm trying to think of, like, bro. Wait until you hear some shit hit the water. Nah, this nigga's a jack of all trades. How you know how to do all these tricks? And it's time for your three-pointer. You gonna open up the shower curtain and you gonna bust a nut on that bitch face. That's one point. Then you're gonna knock that bitch out the toilet. That's two points. And then you're gonna take the chewed up mouthpiece out your mouth and you're gonna bean that bitch in the head with it. That's three points. Now at this point, your bitch should be on the floor with her pants around her ankle, nut on her face, and shit in her ass. So you ain't gotta worry about her running after you. I just want you to shimmy out the bathroom, just like Steph do. And if by some chance, she wiped the nut off her face and killed the sperm, well, that would make her a baby face assassin. Game is game. <laughs> Okay. How to fuck up somebody relationship. Guys, you ever see two people who just happy as hell and you want to test it? Or maybe you just want somebody who don't belong to you. Regardless, I got you covered. 
The first way is the app attack. For example, if you want Olivia to leave her man, then you need to make a dating profile as her man. Connect with other bitches. Talk to them. Entertain them. And talk shit about Olivia. Screenshot the oh, no, he and it. send them to her anonymously. Sit back. Yo, I should use this. And let the trust issues burn. Or you can try the paid actor. If you know what type of dudes Olivia like, hire a guy to go up to her and talk to her. And have your camera ready. Take pictures of them talking, laughing, and if you're lucky enough, you might even get a hug. Get all your evidence and send that shit to her husband anonymously. When you see Olivia with a black eye, mission accomplished. Game is game. That's not bro. Okay. See, you. This was literally one of his best ones. And then you're gonna say that gonna have a black eye and say that's game. That's game. My nigga, what game are you playing? This is the most illegal game of all time. This nigga is hilarious, bro. This is one of the most unreal niggas of all time. This is why I'm telling you NPCs are evolving. Look at bro hand construction. Look how he put his fingers to each other. Look at his stare in every vid. They're all the same. Different shirt, same face, same position. Mike always sticking into the camera. Same weak ass Hurley hat. I'm telling y'all, bro. This shit bad, bro. Y'all love y'all niggas. Five star shit, five star forever, bro.